Hello everyone. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to mint your N8 NFT. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to go over to the back office of, of social.na.com or xlifeclub.com and I want to uh, show you where the notice is on, on minting the NFT. You're going to click on activity over here on the side. And here, there's a couple of posts here about minting the NFT. And let's, if you go down to say this one here from Zay, uh, he has uh, outlined steps in a document to guide you through the process. So you're going to click on that document and it will outline the steps. I just wanted to show you how to do that. The other thing is you will have already added uh, your wallet address that you use to purchase the NFT to your wallet in um, the back office here, uh, social.ina.com. You would have already added that. So let's go ahead and, and go over to the DAP which is um, dao.in8.com. Again, that's dao.in8.com. This is where you're going to go to mint the NFT. And I've already uh, uh, paid for the NFT. And so all I'm going to do now is to mint it. If you haven't paid for an NFT, there's a, there's a different process. You're, you're still going to go through here, but you're going to have to end up paying throughout the process um, that you're on this site. So on the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click, 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 connect wallet. And the the wallet is in my SafePal app. It's a SafePal wallet. And so I, I'm not going to click MetaMask or Rainbow or Coin Base Wallet. I'm, I'm going to click Wallet Connect. And it's going to bring up a QR code. In my SafePal app, in the wallet that I use to purchase the NFT, on the, on the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to click the Scan button. And I'm going to scan that QR code. And I'm going to click agree that I want to connect to the site in my wallet. And if you see here up at the upper right hand corner, uh, it uh, uh, tells me that I've connected to the wallet, that I'm, I'm on the BSC, the Binance blockchain. And it tells me how much BNB I have in that wallet. You will need BNB in your wallet in order to mint the NFT. If you do not have BNB, go back and put some BNB in the wallet and then come back. So to mint, where this blue button here where it says mint, I'm just going to click on it. And because I purchased the founder NFT, I'm going to select founder. I'm going to select continue and I am going to read and check all of the boxes here for the legal agreement. And after you've done that, the I agree and continue will highlight. I'm going to click that and it says you have one mint credit for founder NFT. Would you like to use these credits or proceed with payment? If I did not, if I had not already paid paid for the NFT and uh, they did not put a mint credit in my uh, uh, system here for my wallet, I would have to pay with USDT for both the uh, NFT and the $10 minting fee. 
But since I've already done that and my package includes all of that, I am going to click on use credits. And you see here it says quantity one, already paid, available credits one, one NFT. Uh, and my, so my total cost is going to be the gas fees that's going to be paid in BNB. That's why you want to make sure that you have BNB in your wallet when you do this. So I'm going to click on mint with credits. And I'm going to hit confirm in my self safe power app on my phone. And it says minting. And so again, the blockchain isn't like the internet. So it's a little bit slower and it's, and it is done. And that is how you mint the NFT. And if I go ahead and you see here, If I go over here where it says NFT overview and right now it's on ambassador and it says zero because I don't have an, an ambassador NFT. But if I click this toggle switch and it says founder now and it shows you I have one unstaked uh, uh, NFT.